Hi everyone! Nowadays, companies are ready to do anything to draw attention to their products or services. They spend a lot of money making commercials with celebrities. They come up with cool, catchy slogans. I'm a fighter. I fight. I'm a runner. I run. And I just sit the hell down and chill in these soft pants. But sometimes they even go further and create the most unusual advertising campaigns in the world. We're going to talk about those today. And you, dear friends, watch our video and tell us in the comments which of the campaigns you find the coolest and what product you'd like to buy. Are you ready to enjoy the masterpieces of advertising? Then let's get it on. Glowing billboards, touch panels. Nah, this is ancient history. Look at what McDonald's invented back in 2011. At first, it may seem a bit strange, but the way this company advertised its products in Sweden is definitely worth mentioning. Near one of their restaurants in the center of Stockholm, they put a huge screen. So what, you'll probably say. We see them every day on every corner. Well, hold on, that's just the beginning. It turns out that anyone interested in the strange billboard could go to the website pickandplay.se using his or her smartphone, register and download a simple controller. Using this controller, the user could play digital ping pong on the giant display. Oh, right. Well, before starting the game, the user had to choose some tasty prize, one of McDonald's products. For example, to get a Big Mac, he or she needed to hold out against the computer opponent for just 30 seconds. If you can make it, the prize is yours. Then the user just had to go to the cashier and show his or her mobile device with the winning information. The possibility of obtaining electricity from oranges and lemons is a pretty well-known fact. You just have to take two pieces of aluminium and copper or gold or silver and stick them into the fruit at some distance from each other. In this case, the voltage can reach as much as two volts. It's a fun school experience. Well, at least it was just school fun. Until some creative French guys from the advertising agency DDB decided to exploit this trick for their campaign. They decided to get natural energy from oranges and make a cool analogy with Tropicana orange juice at the same time. They built a construction made of oranges and tried to provide a neon billboard with electricity. In order to fully fill it with fruits, they needed over two and a half thousand fruits. The result was a large fruit billboard with a bright glowing inscription. Energy Naturelle, which means natural energy. By the way, before the project was made, the agency had to conduct tests for three months, but the result was definitely worth it, right? But still, one of the most unusual advertising campaigns in the world was created in Vancouver, Canada. Experts of Scott Shield, a company that produces armored glass, mounted a double glazed window in an ordinary bus stop, inside of which there were three million dollars. Real money, not just paper. On the first day of the campaign, everyone was offered to arm themselves with hammers, shovels, and other heavy tools to try and break the glass. Anyone able to do it would be guaranteed to have all the money. However, as expected, no one could damage the armored surface. The three million dollars remained inside the glass. No worries, bulletproof. You can't hurt us! No. We've got bulletproof glass! Ah! Despite the fact that it was behind a relatively thin glass, which looked just like a normal window. This may seem surprising, but the huge amount of money has been there for a whole year, and nobody's managed to break the glass and become a millionaire. Although a video camera designed to ensure the safety of the money recorded easy money lovers trying to break the glass from time to time. But no one succeeded, although they were very close. In the spring of 2016, a Swedish advertising agency called Animal launched an advertising campaign for Reebok. In the center of Stockholm, the agency put up a billboard in the form of a showcase equipped with a built-in speed camera monitoring. Any passerby who would run past it faster than 17 kilometers per hour won a pair of new Reebok Z Pump 2.0 sneakers. Right before the billboard, there was a special platform to register this speed, and on top of the showcase, there was a screen showing how fast the person was running. We really like the idea of taking a classic billboard and turning it into something disruptive and unique, says Marcus Schramm, a creative worker at the ad agency Animal, which created the stunt. This gives customers an instant experience, and as a brand, we're able to provide something of real value. Well, the company Reebok has repeatedly stated that they like to inspire people to run and push their boundaries. And what better motivation than free sneakers? 
In November 2015, in order to attract attention to the new Xbox game Rise of the Tomb Raider, which takes place in Siberia, the advertising agency McCann arranged a whole reality show in London. Yes, right on a billboard. Why not? Eight people had to stand around the clock, huddled against the huge screen, with one sole purpose – to last the longest. Anybody could watch the Brave Souls in a live broadcast on the website and select by common vote what test the participants would have to endure – an artificial snowstorm, heat, cold or wind. And all this happened right on the billboard. The action was supposed to last until the billboard was left with one, the most persistent participant. As a prize for the victory, Xbox promised a trip based on the game Rise of the Tomb Raider. Unfortunately, not one of the Daredevils could last a day. The last participant surrendered 22 hours after the start of the show, but it could all end much faster if somebody showed the participants a photograph of a kitty. Learn from Peter, friends. I just sent you a picture of a kitten in sunglasses. Well, this I gotta see. Oh, and we have a win! In 2012, the agency Baldwin and created a unique billboard to advertise the moisturizing cream Burt's Bees. The main image on the billboard, a photograph of a smiling girl, was hidden under small stickers forming another picture. As passers-by took off coupons with discounts from the billboard, the image changed. Her skin seemed to be smoothed out, and the heroine herself was clearly happier. This way, they achieved a visual demonstration of the effect of the moisturizing cream, Burt's Bees. Honestly, we don't know how good these cosmetics are, but we must admit that the idea is simply gorgeous. Advertisers don't forget about pets, which is the right thing to do. After all, you're absolutely entitled not to love fast food, not to care about cosmetics and other stuff, but who would refuse to make something good for their pet? At least this is what the German dog food company Granata Pet thought. In 2011, advertisers at Granata Pet came up with a pretty bold and incredibly cool way to introduce their product to the consumers and their dogs. After approaching the seemingly ordinary billboard with the inscription, register and get a snack, the owner could check in on the Foursquare application, and the product automatically appeared in a special device attached to the bottom of the billboard. Extremely convenient for the pet. The Magic of Flying project, developed by the British company Ogilvy One for British Airways in 2013, won the Cannes Lions Grand Prix in the direct category. Magic billboards were placed in the London areas of Chiswick and Piccadilly Circus in order to demonstrate the wide geography of the airline's flights. When the British Airways airplanes flew over the digital structures, the boy on the screen started moving, held out his hands and followed the plane. The billboard showed the flight number and the departure city. Billboards obtain the information about planes passing using antennas and beacons of British Airways. The data was then sent to the server, which formulated and displayed the message on the screen. Incredibly cool. The company Orphea, which produces insect repellents, decided to turn an ordinary billboard into a giant insect trap. Advertisers from the Italian agency Publicis came up with this simple and ingenious idea in 2013, and it's a really great way to show how the tool works. No special technologies or computer graphics were used. A big part of the billboard was simply smeared with a persistent transparent glue, like the one that covers fly ribbons. The effect was simply striking. After a while, the billboard was covered with insects. The creators announced that they'd caught 230,000 insects this way. Don't ask how exactly they managed to make that calculation. Unfortunately, these advertisers didn't dwell on the subject. To advertise the free Flyknit sneakers, Nike and the advertising agency Viden and Kennedy installed a billboard with a picture of a bare foot on a busy street in Shanghai. A little bit strange for shoe advertising, right? Well, not at all. The creative project consisted of several stages. First, on the advertising panel was placed a human foot without additional identification marks. Next, four climbers in suits of the same color as the new Nike collection began to gradually cover the image with posters that mimicked the shape of the top of the Nike Free Flyknit, which has parts of different density of polyester yarn weaving depending on the load on a certain foot segment. Then, the specialist proceeded to install the flexible sole of the Nike Free, and as a result, the footwear on the billboard fitted the leg naturally, like a second skin or a sock. Well, numerous passers-by could observe the process of creating this unusual outdoor advertising. We don't know if this helped to increase the sales of these running shoes, but this billboard did make it into history. 
A great idea for production promotion came to the minds of Coca-Cola marketers. They decided to please the visitors of the largest beach in Brazil by installing a 10-meter shower, shaped like a machine serving cold, refreshing Sprite. Anyone who was properly warmed up under the hot sun could take a shower of, not of Sprite of course, but of the purest water, and then you could get a cold Sprite can from one of the smiling promoters. This creative, delicious advertising was very successful for the company. Sprite refreshes no worse than spring water. The firm managed to convey this idea to everyone who happened to stand under the cool jets of the unusual shower. Not surprisingly, this design project was highly appreciated for both the idea and its implementation, and for functionality and real benefit. Despite the fact that there are about 1,500 conventional shower cabins on the beach, the Sprite shower attracted a large number of people wishing to freshen up every day. Well, and get a free soda, of course. Amazing gadgets, upcoming technologies, incredible inventions, and other cool stuff related to high tech on TechZone. Subscribe, you won't regret it. The link is on the screen and in the description. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.